find the following price range. So let's access the web page and take a look at what it's about. As you can see from the web page, from the home page actually, we're talking about a marketplace, an online marketplace of hot products sold at great discounts. And when we, mean, when we say great discount, we mean great discounts that can reach up to 100% off. So how does it work? So, as you can see, there is actually no buy now button. So how can I buy this iPhone 4S that I truly would like to have right now? But there is no buy now button. Just follow me and you can see how it works. <clears throat> Every product is a starting price. Out of this price, in order to buy the product, I first need to click the show current price button. When I do that, I pay one euro and the price is revealed to me. And as you can see, this specific product is at 23% off. How is this possible? Is the website working at a loss? Well, I don't think so. This is because many users before me have clicked on this product and checked the price. If I really like this price, I can just click the buy now button and the deal is closed. If not, I can just wait for a, wait for a sec and then come back and say 15 minutes, half an hour and check a new price. Now the price is 27% off. This means that more users have clicked the deal but do not actually like the price and then said, maybe I come back later, like we did before. But now if I click the buy now button, the product is mine. Actually our service is an online platform of branded products that uses consumer power to drive down the prices that can reach up to discounts of up to 100% off, thus having returning and satisfied customers. Our business model is original in three ways. First of all, we introduce a new buying method that gives consumer power. <coughs> Second of all, we use the snowball effect. What we call the snowball effect is that more users drive the prices even further down. <coughs> this causes deals being cheaper, products sold, and this causes a, a circle of continuing coming by customers. And also, the, all users can use the social connections to invite their friends to their profit because for every people, for every person that participates in its deal, the price goes here. <coughs> excuse me, the price goes further down. We have some benchmarking from uh, actually the big players in the market, like Amazon, eBay and Groupon, from various reasons each one. Amazon, we all know that sells good products at good prices. The difference is that we can offer much better prices. What about eBay? They have live auctions. Yeah, but in eBay, the prices go up. In our case, the prices go down. What about Groupon? It's a deal site, isn't it? Yes, of course. But Groupon mainly sells services and not products. In our case, there are branded products sold. Here you can see another example of sneak peek. This is actually a, um, a startup from uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, it just launched last year. What they do is that they use the same uh, price reduction method though they don't have it monetized. They have it like gamified with points. So what we do is that we monetize the price reductions, thus creating uh, revenue. How do we make money? Well, we sell credit packs. Users use these credit packs to buy, uh, to, to check current prices, and of course, buy products. What is our target market? If I told you today that our target market is the whole e-commerce uh, market, of course, it would be exaggerating. As you can see, there's a small part in this market that in the past two to three years has evolved to um, like having sales up to three and a half um, billion euros. This is a daily deals market. And of course, on the other hand, there is the online casinos market that has reached up to 6.7 billion euros in profits. Why, why do we mention the online casinos? Well, because the buyer needs to gamble a certain amount of money. So what we do now is we combine the buyer preferences of users that go to deal sites and the online casino websites. That's creating a sub-market within the global market. Well, there are some barriers to entry, like the first mover advantage and legal issues, which are really crucial. I can say I have no much time. I have, we have some key success factors. You can, we have some business plan goals, like milestones that can keep us, that can reach to break even in the, in the next two to three years. Our team is a team of professionals coming from, from different sectors, commerce, marketing, social media, and technical. And we're proposing an investment that will set us up in the United States market. Thank you very much. Question, Jeff. Did you come up with the best presentation so far? Thank you very much. Have you, uh, have you heard of News Button? Excuse me? Have you heard of, uh, have you heard of a company called News Button? It's out of Canada. Well, there are some. Uh, no, we haven't heard about this company. Okay, check them out. They've been, uh, 
they got their A round funded. They're, they're in the same space, so check them out. My buddy runs that company. Lots of wrong. So check that out. It's a really up and coming space that, that you're looking at going into. All questions, please. Uh, please proceed. Uh, Thank you. Changing the way people buy, you're changing user behavior, and it, 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 to a certain extent, it all sounds too good to be true. When I see sites like that on the web, my first reaction is, oh, this is too good to be true. Um, you also want to get people hooked on it. You want to get their credit card details in the system. Think about acquiring users by giving away the first one of those credit packs in exchange for them putting the credit card details in. So you've got them hooked. You let them try in effect. So you're saying it's a one year old to click to see what the actual price is. But before it looked like the price was like a deal before you went in to see it. And and so I'm just like as a consumer, I don't right, what James was saying, just be careful of the gimmick that turns into more of like frustration. Like I mean, I, one euro, one dollar, whatever. But when you click and then you're like, oh, it's actually 400. I thought it was going to be 50 bucks. Um, how much is really the deal discount to get in there? Because I know the more you click, the more one euro you get. But I, I would be <coughs> frustrated. Actually, actually, there is a, a, there are some more uh, some more methods. This is the basic method, the buy now method. What you can see as a user beforehand is the starting price, which is actually yeah. the, the retail yeah. price. So pretty much from the beginning, you know that you're going to buy less than the retail price, that's for sure. Even if you pay, if you spend one euro, even if you add up this euro to the price you see, it will never reach the retail price, that's for sure. But we also have categories like 50% off and 100% off, which I didn't have the time to present here, ah, okay. that offer um, really big discounts for users that would like to risk more, if you know what I right, mean. Right, then that, okay, that, that then I would be more comfortable. So, um, does it show like what the quantities are and how many are left? So you know as time's going on, like no. like, that might be a good thing to um, encourage people of how much time they have. If there's only 20 left and it started with 100, you know, oh, that they need to buy now rather than waiting. Maybe just uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And the other thing is, um, the one thing you said that when I really caught on what you were doing is when you said it's the opposite of eBay. So right from the very beginning, you might put that in. That, because everybody knows that eBay, the longer, the more people who are involved, the higher the price goes. Because that's just a quick definition.